Ladies and gentlemen, at last the long-awaited meeting of Siren Bay West and Casanova Charles McCarthy has arrived. This is the romantic battle of the century. The dramatic moment that millions have been looking forward to. Tension is running high and so are the bets. The odds are May West 5, Charlie McCarthy 3. There's some talk that Charlie will weaken. They say no man can resist her. But there are others who feel that Charlie will vanquish the vampire. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Last minute flash. There's been a drop in the odds. May West 4, Charlie McCarthy 4 and a half. Let's get a word from the challenger, Charlie McCarthy. What, do you, what have you got to say, Charlie? It looks like a tough fight, Mom, but I think I'll win. <laughs> Why do you say it's a tough fight? Well, my opponent's in great form. <laughs> He's had lots of training. What do you think of your chance of winning? Well, I've had some great fights in the East. What do you think of West? Mighty pretty country. Mighty pretty. <laughs> well, Charlie's never been in better condition. He's a fashion plate with his midnight blue full dress suit, top hat and monocle, and a blue white butterfly tie and dress shirt. Yeah, it's PK. PK tie and shirt. Yeah, shot with gravy. <laughs> <laughs> And now a word from the champion, Mae West. We've heard so much about you, Miss West. Won't you say a word? Well, all I've got to see, say is where there's smoke, there's fire. Wow. <laughs> Boy, she burns me up. <laughs> there's nothing I'd like better than the aroma of burning wood. I wonder if she means me. <laughs> you better watch out, Charlie. Say, Charlie, do you smell that perfume? Yeah. Isn't it ravishing? Yes, it is. It's ravishing. It's weakening. So help me, I'm swooning. <laughs> what is it? Miss? Why, it's my favorite perfume, Ashes of Men. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ashes of men. Holy smoke. <laughs> She's not going to make a cinder out of me. <laughs> well, Don, there's, there's been a great deal of talk, but very little action so far. Right you are, Edgar. Miss West, this is the famous Charlie McCarthy. Oh, hello, short, dark, and handsome. Hello, tall, blonde, and terrific. <laughs> Charlie, that's no way to talk to Miss West. You hardly know her. I know it, Bert. I'm a cad. I hate myself. Oh, uh, listen, Charlie, are these your keys? Oh, thanks, May. Did I leave them in the car? No, you left them in my apartment. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have a white Christmas. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Charlie, where did you leave those keys? I, 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 where did you leave those keys? Oh, I, 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 I'm telling oh, you. He, uh, he left them on my dresser. So what? Charlie, why don't you walk out on Brigham? What's holding you? Well, he is. <laughs> you better tell him, May. Well, if you want to know, he did come up to see me. Oh, he did? And what was he doing up there? Well, Charlie came up and I showed him my etching. <laughs> And he showed me his stamp collection. There you have it, Bergen. There you have it. Yes. So that's all there was to it. Just etchings and a stamp collection. <laughs> He's so naive. <laughs> oh. So that's what's the matter with him. Yeah. Come here, honey. Closer so we can talk intimately. Yeah, well, well if you don't mind, I think I'd better keep my distance. Well, away. I don't like long-distance conversations, so come here. I thought you were going to have a nice long talk Tuesday night at my apartment. Where did you go when the doorbell rang? Well, I tried to hide in your clothes closet, but you guys kicked me out. <laughs> so I went out the back door. Don't tell me you went down through the you went out through the French windows. I'm on the third floor, you know. Oh, so that's what it was, the French windows, huh? I was going to say you were pretty skimpy with those back steps. <laughs> oh, you look pretty good to me, Charlie. Come here. But I thought you only liked tall men. Oh, that was my last year's model. This year I'm on a diet. Oh, so that's it. You're gonna die. Yes. Tell me, Miss West, have you ever found the one man in your life that you could really love? Yes. Sure, lots of times. Oh, I know. <laughs> could you even like Mr. Bergen? Oh, Mr. Bergen. Well, of course. He's very sweet. In fact, he's the right guy. Confidentially, you'll have to show me a man I don't like. That's well. Bergen's your man. You know, he can be had. On second thought, I'm liable to take him away from you. Then what do you say? Well, if you take Bergen away, I'm speechless. <laughs> You ain't afraid I'll do you wrong. Well, now that you ask, I... Oh, uh, you're afraid I'll do you right. Well, I'm slightly confused. I need time for that one, man. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I like a man what takes his time. <laughs> Why don't you come up uh, home with me now, honey? I'll let you play in my wood pile. Well... <laughs> I'm not feeling very well tonight. I've been so nervous lately. I think I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Wait, there I go. Oh. <laughs> so, good time, Charlie's going to play hard to get. Well, you can't kid me. You're afraid of women. Your tavern over stuff is just a front. A false front. It's not so loud, me. Not so loud. All my girlfriends are listening. Oh, yeah, you're all wooden a yard long. Yeah. You weren't so nervous and backward when you came up to see me in my apartment. In fact, you did, didn't need any encouragement to kiss me. Did I do that? Well, you certainly did. I got marks to prove it. Oh, uh, that's too. Oh, that's too much. This is too much. Yeah. Well, get this. I don't need you. I got all the gentlemen friends I want. 
Well, I got men for every mood. Men for every day in the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. A good man Friday, ass yes, and a good man Saturday. I change my men like I change my clothes. And you, you... Hey, me, you're not walking out on me, are you? I've got a reputation at stake. No man walks out on me. They might carry them out, but they never walk out of me. <laughs> I'm mad about you. I love you. I've acted like a fool. That wasn't acting. Come here. I'll show you how to act. Oh, but May, May, don't be so rough. To me, love is peace and quiet. That ain't love. That's sleep. Oh. <laughs> Just cut it out, May. Cut it out. Help me, May. Omiki, help me. Oh, call on Omiki. Call Greg and call everybody. I don't need any help. <laughs> 